Advanced Database Searching, CINAHL. In a previous video, we talked about basic database searches and how to use some of the limiters in CINAHL to focus a basic keyword search. Our topic from that example was opioids. Now let's explore some Boolean search strategies for a more complex topic. Once again, I'll click on the link for an advanced search located immediately below the search field. This provides me with a set of three stacked search boxes. A Boolean search is one that uses the terms and, or, and not to combine our search terms in a way that will target the best set of results. The sample topic we'll use for our demonstration today is educating parents on safe sleep practices for infants. We all know that typing in a full sentence or question or phrase like that is not the best search method. By breaking down the search into concepts, we can guide the database to return the articles that best match our topic. I can easily divide that topic into three concepts, infants, sleep safety, and parent education. Beginning in the first search box, I'll enter our first concept, infants. This single search term finds nearly 300,000 results in CINAHL. And yet, I know that not all articles will use the same terms for my concepts. There will probably be articles that instead use terms like baby or newborn. And I don't want to miss those articles just because I've typed infants as my only search term. So I can use a Boolean OR to add synonyms or related terms to my first search element. I'll include OR, baby, OR, newborn, OR, neonate. And sure enough, when I press search again, I can see that uh, something like 30,000 articles have been added to my search results. These might be really useful articles, but I wouldn't be seeing them if I'd only use the single search term. Now I'll proceed with my second concept, sleep safety. Notice that the database automatically supplies a Boolean AND between my concepts. When I type in sleep safety, my results plummet from over 300,000 down to 68. This makes sense since I've told CINAHL that I only want to see articles that include both of these components. Centuries ago, way back in middle school math class, you probably had a unit where they showed you those Venn diagrams to help understand the idea of intersection. That's what Boolean logic is really about. We're using AND to tell the database to look for the intersection of those two concepts. Taking a quick pause to consider alternate terms for this concept makes me think it might also be a good idea to turn the phrase around to include safe sleep. Either sleep safety or safe sleep would be acceptable articles in my search results. This increases my results back up to 347. So yes, I can see that there is a large quantity of, of studies that I would have been missing out on if I hadn't used a Boolean search with OR to capture both phrases that relate to sleep safety. Additionally, I can guess that some articles might even use the phrase safe sleeping. In order to capture both versions of the word sleep, I can use something called truncation. I'll place an asterisk after the P in the word sleep. This tells the database that I want to see the word sleep with any additional letters attached, such as sleeping or sleeps. In this case, adding that asterisk to sleep increased my results to over 400. You'll notice that the number of results alternates, getting larger when I add an OR to my search and getting smaller when I add an AND. So moving on to the final concept, I can use the third search box to type in parent education. I 
I could add some alternative phrases here, such as training or teaching, but when I skim these 69 articles, I can see that these match my original search topic much more closely than the first few searches that I ran. If I did want to add additional components to my search, I could use the plus sign to add as many search lines as necessary. For instance, if I notice several articles relating to premature infants in my search results and I need to exclude them from my topic, I could change this Boolean operator to not and then use this search line to indicate to CINAHL that I don't want to see articles that relate to premature or preterm infants. This has eliminated a few articles from my results, since I can see I now have 63 articles. There are other ways to use Boolean limiters, but the simplest form is to use OR horizontally to combine synonyms and use AND, and occasionally not, vertically between lines to combine concepts. And by the way, you don't actually need to capitalize AND, OR, and NOT. I think it makes things clearer in these demonstrations, but most databases will recognize lowercase AND, OR, and NOT as Boolean operators. And we've also seen the use of an asterisk as a truncation symbol, indicating that I want to search for varying forms of the same root word. Among other symbols you might consider using are quotation marks. These tell the database that you want to see an exact phrase. For example, if I begin a new search by typing in the phrase standard of care, the database has found nearly 60,000 results. But if I scan the list, I may find that there are articles that talk about standard care. Since there's a big difference between standard of care and standard care, I might decide to use quotation marks around that phrase to tell the database to look for it as an exact phrase. And you can see this simple change has reduced my results from nearly 60,000 down to 12,000. There are situations where you might want to use an exact phrase and some situations where you don't. I considered using quotations in my previous search for parent education, but in that case I decided that I was willing to let the database include similar terms with those words like parental education, or education for parents, since that would still fit my topic accurately. It's up to you. Although this explanation is a little bit lengthy, you can see that using some synonyms connected with OR and combining concepts connected with AND will add only a moment or two to your search efforts, but would result in a more targeted list of results in CINAHL. And you may be asking yourself, if I only need four or five references for my topic, why should I bother to construct a search strategy like this when a simpler search for safe sleep would probably give me thousands of articles to choose from in a database like CINAHL? The answer is that we don't just want evidence. We want the best available evidence. We don't want to just choose four or five articles from a general list of thousands. We want to choose four or five articles from a list that relates to all of the specific facets of our topic. And don't forget about some features we looked at in the basic search video, options like using limiters such as peer reviewed or date ranges, and checking for full text availability. Thanks, good luck with your searches.